Hey guys, in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a motion blur effect like this for your Instagram filters. And I will also show you how you can add a lot to it. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create a motion blur effect here in this Buggy R Studio. At first, we will just create the motion blur effect and then I will show you how you can add a lot to it. So let's start. Before we start programming the filter in the batch editor, we have to do a few steps um, yeah, to set everything up. The first thing is to extract the camera texture from the camera element in the scene. So for this, go to your scene, Go all the way up to your camera object, click on it, then go to the right hand side and click on the little plus next to texture extraction. After you have done this, you will find your camera texture in your assets panel under textures. So the next step is just to drag and drop the camera texture into the patch editor. So next step is that we create a material. For this, click on the little plus at the assets panel and here select material. I will call this material camera. Then select the material, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Then go down to the diffuse tab and click on the little arrow next to textures. So now you will find this yellow um, yeah, camera patch in your patch editor. So. Now we can start programming the filter here in the patch editor. So at first we have of course to add a few patches. So yeah, just create the following patches. The first patch we need is a mix patch. Then we have to create a shader render pass patch and also a delay frame patch. Delay frame. So the delay frame patch is here a blue patch. So the next thing is that we add another patch and this is a receiver patch. So here at the receiver patch, after you have created it, just click on it, click on the little arrow and then here select the delay frame. So now here um, the name should be delay frame. So now we have to yeah, sort our patches. So we have, yeah, we know where they are and we can start, um, yeah, connecting them so they make sense. So the first thing is that we connect the camera output, the RGBA output of the camera texture patch to the first frame input of the delay frame patch. So then we also connect the RGBA output of the camera texture with the first input of the mix patch. The delay frame output of the receiver patch goes into the second um, input of our mix patch. So now the output of the mix patch goes into the shader input of our shader render pass and the shader render pass output goes into the um, render pass input of our um, big delay frame patch. So and the last connection is to connect the mix output to the input of the camera patch of the yellow camera patch to diffuse texture. So now everything is set up but we have to um, yeah, change the value of the alpha of the mix patch from 0 to let's say 0. 8. I will um, tell you later on what this value does. But we have to do one last step to see the motion blur here in action. And this is to create a rectangle object where we can attach our material to. For this, go to your scene, click on the little plus and here search for rectangle. Now Spark AR will create this rectangle for us, but we wanted to expand it to the yeah, whole screen size for this. Just select the rectangle, go to the right hand side and here set the width by clicking on the, into the input field to fill width and also set the height to fill height. So now the rectangle covers the whole screen but we have to attach the material too so we see something. For this go down to the materials, click on the little plus and here select the camera. Uh, material and now we can already see our motion blur 
in action. And now when you play around with the alpha number here at the mix patch and say, let's say we set it to one, we, oh no, one is too much. <laughs> let's say to 0 0.9, the yeah, motion blur effect is much stronger, but when we set it down to, let's say um, 0 0.5, the motion blur effect is weaker, so it will also um, just will be visible when you are yeah, moving fast at, in the screen. So I will yeah, leave it to 0 0.8. So now the motion blur is applied and now I will also show you how you can apply a LUT to this filter. At first, of course, we have to import a LUT. I will go to my assets panel, click on the plus and here at import select color LUT. So I will select a LUT, but of course you can um, yeah, select any LUT you want to add to this filter. Then you will find your color LUT um, under the color LUT section at your assets panel. Here just drag and drop the LUT into your patch editor and Spark AR will automatically create this color LUT shader patch. So now just connect the output of the mix uh, of your mix patch with the texture input of the color lot shader and the color lot shader output goes into the um, yeah, input of our yellow material patch and now we have also applied a lot to this yeah to this motion blur um, effect here in the spark ar studio and now just play around with your alpha settings just test it on your device and yeah find the way you want it to look like so yeah thanks for watching i help i hope i could help you with this video if yes give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my youtube channel it would be really nice when you subscribe to it thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye